Hey y'all, I have recently finished The Daughter of No World. I gave this book a four and a half out of five star, and I'm learning y'all. I'm starting series that are actually completed now. I was very excited to get into this series because I knew it was finished, and I've heard many great things about this book. I definitely feel like if you're looking for just a lot of romance, definitely book one doesn't have that much. I mean, it still didn't disappoint. We definitely feel the romance more in the end, okay? But it's all about Tisana, our FMC. She's a badass. She was a slave, freed herself, escaped, and she wants revenge. She wants to release all the slaves. She wants to rescue all of them. So that is her goal in this book. She will do anything to free all the slaves. She used to be one herself. So it follows her healing journey, her training. She has powers and it just focuses on her training and working towards her goal. And her friend was left behind She's working on herself and training very hard so she can go back to save her friend and free all the slaves. That is literally her main goal in life, but she does have to give up some certain things. She does have to make sacrifices to get there. I love her. I will say that this series is free on Audible, so you can just download it and listen to it, but the audio really turned me off. I just felt like the female narrator her voice was just very light and breathy and her main character represents so much strength and I just couldn't get connected to the narration for Tasana and also for Max, our MMC. I just didn't really like the narrators. You know, I don't want to say too much about that because narrators, you know, they work hard to embody the characters. And I don't want to say too much. I just could not connect with it when I was trying to listen to the audio. The audio was kind of turning me off. So once I like turned the audio off and just read the book, I was loving it way more. But it is free on Audible, so you could just download it and listen to it. But I would highly recommend reading the physical copies. I did really enjoy this book, this storyline. It is kind of slow in the middle. I kind of wish there was a little more like hardcore combat in the middle during her training. I love when the characters, the FMC and the MMC, spar and you know like get down and dirty sparring and training and I love that. I kind of wish there was more of that in the middle and it was a little slow so that's why I gave it a four and a half and not a five star but the storyline is so inspiring and our FMC is such a badass. I am in love with her. She has these scars on her back getting whipped as a slave, people are trying to ignore her. They don't care that she was a slave. She goes to a party with a dress that shows all her scars and she says, look at me. Look what was done to me. You want to turn a blind eye? You want to ignore that? And I literally got chills. I love her. She will do anything to free the slaves and create a better world. She is just fucking iconic. Our MMC Max, he's great. His power that we find out in the end and some secrets we find out about him, his past is tragic. He is so inspired by Tisana to rebuild the world, make it a better place. And he is just along for the ride. He is going to be there for her and do anything for her. So I'm in love with him as well. Them as a duo, it is just so well done. I cannot wait to read the second book. I need to know what happened. It ended on a decent cl cliffhanger, but it wasn't too like, tense for me to want to rush and get to book two. So I will eventually get to book two, but I did really love this book and the storyline is so inspiring and so good. So I do highly recommend reading it. It is very well done. Definitely check it out.